welcome folks we'll be talking about california prisons some of them are closing down due to the m8 population getting smaller and smaller before we jump into this video here if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you would like to please subscribe and ring the bell for local updates and on news and our united states of america news folks this is about susanville california here uh california correctional center will be shut down as of next year here along with a couple other prisons some jobs will be lost but a lot of laws have changed in california which made crimes that required prison time to not even exist no more they're not even crimes and if they are they're just really less misdemeanor which doesn't consist of prison going to prison so with the amount of folks leaving prison due to the laws have changed and the amount of inmates going to prison is dropping down rapidly and will continue for years to come so correctional officer jobs will be lost and prisons will be closing down cdc announces deactivation of california correctional center in susanville california <coughs> excuse me that's in far northern california folks in lassen county there's two main state prisons in california and that's high desert state prison and the ccc they're both on the same area of land and it pretty well the one main job source in Lassen County and Susanville. The 58 year old CCC is expected to close its doors on June 30th, 2022. Operation of the four conservation fire camps currently operated by CCC will transfer to the Sierra Conservation Center. Fire response provided by the camps will not be impacted. This is the second prison closure announced by CDCR in the last year. So a lot of jobs will be lost here. As we get in this video, you will see how many people are employed there at CCC. Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation CDCR announces the upcoming deactivation of California Correctional Center, CCC in Susanville, California, by June 30th, 2022. The prison is comprised of four faculties and serves as a hub for incarcerated firefighters who are trained for placement into one of the 14 conservation fire camps in Northern California. Those fire camps will now be approximately 2,064 incarcerated people are housed at the California Correctional Center, CCC. There are currently 1,080 staff at the institution. The closure of CDC is estimated to achieve a full-year annual savings of $122 million. It's a lot of money, folks, that are being spent out there to house the inmates. CDC will work with staff at this transition, including possible relocation to other institutions. Additionally, incarcerated people will be transferred to other faculties based on their housing, custody, and rehabilitative needs. All of their rehabilitative, educational, and self-help programs credits will transfer with them. There will be no need expedient releases due to the closures. This is the second prison slated to close in the coming year with dual vocational institution, DBI, slated to be deactivated by September 30th, 2021. The closure of the two state prisons was included in Governor Newsom's 2020-21 budget and is aligned with public safety as well as a decreased incarcerated population. In addition to the closure of CCC, the Secure Level 1 faculties at California Correctional Center, CCI, and Correctional Training Faculty, CTF, in Solidec will close by June 30th, 2022 due to population reduction. Those closures are estimated to save an additional $45 million annually. A lot of money was paid out, folks, to correctional officers to watch these inmates and take care of them. CDCR announced in September 2020 the deactivation of DVI Dual Vocational Institution in Tracy 
by the end of September 2021. The last time California closed a straight state prison was Northern California's women faculty in Stockton in 2003. In 2019, CDCR took a major step of successfully returning all people incarcerated out of state in private for nonprofit prisons, in addition to closing the Central Valley Modified Community. California MCCF, a contracted in state private for nonprofit prison in 2020. CDCR ended its final three contracts with private for profit prisons, including Desert View MCCF, Golden State's MCCF, and the McFarland Female Community Recentry Faculty. Additionally, in 2020, CDCR exited two of its three publicly contracted faculties, including Delano and Shafter. The department will exit the TAF MCCF by May 31st, 2021. In October 2020, CDCR announced its closure of eight fire camps. Four of those were in the northern region. These camps have been operating at well below capacity for some time. The depopulation allowed CAL FIRE and CDCR to effectively consolidate resources into the remaining 35 conservative camps so that they can be more efficient and better staff for response to wildfires, other emergencies, and engagement in conservation-related work. CDCR continued to work closely with CAL FIRE to maintain adequate fire responses and community involvement. Here in California, folks, we need all the firefighters we could get, especially with this upcoming fire year that we're going to have. Actually, the state of California, this is the third driest winter on record so far. So we should have all the firefighters we need and more. CDC was originally built in 1963 and encompasses the level one and level two faculty. The minimum uh, faculty, which are a dormitory design, mostly dorms, not cells. In 1983, the minimum support faculty was construction. And in 1988, the level three faculty was consisted of solid cell front housing units was activated. Like again, I said, folks, a lot of folks will be out of jobs or looking to be moving to different cities to find employment. But what the state is worried about is there isn't going to be, in theory, as the years go on, as many correctional officers' jobs as what there is now. It won't be a sought-out job because it's going to, be diminishing down more and more every year. It'll still be there, but they're not taking in so many people to prison anymore because of crimes that were felonies are misdemeanors now, and crimes that were lower class felonies are not even crimes anymore. Folks don't even get in trouble for having drugs. They just get a ticket or, at the most, took to jail and released the same time with no bail. But again, this was just your update on the California Correctional center in Susanville, California, closure, and a couple other prisons in California that are slated to be closed to in 2022. Hopefully they won't be adding no more, but if they do, I will be keeping you updated. Again, this was about the California Correctional Center in Susanville, California. This is in Lassen County, uh, very far, far northern California, sort of tucked up into the corner of the state here. Again, there is two prisons that are on the state land there. One is the CCC, which has a bunch of different, as I stated in this video, areas of it. And then you have the big prison. I call it the big prison, the high desert prison, the one that you can see the lights to the prison at least 60 miles away. It's so big. Little history on Susanville, California. It was mostly Lassen County, a ranching community. And Susanville was mostly a logging town. That's where most of the jobs was. But the mill here closed back in 2004. So it's actually just a prison town now. Most of the jobs are from out at the prison. Again, folks, you like this video, 
please give it a thumbs up and share it if you want to leave a comment on this video please leave a comment and if you have any more information on this drop it in the comment section below for, for folks to read take care and be safe